Hi, I'm Peter Knight. In a previous video, I've talked about how applying pressure to the ground through your feet is what moves your hips. So when, the, when you get to the top of the backswing, there's a, almost like a twisting pressure through your right foot that will actually move, make your hips move to the left. We don't want the hips to slide too far so that leg goes past vertical, but there needs to be a balancing force. Now, I just want to talk a little bit about what happens through the left leg and the left side that will actually help stabilize it. The vast majority of players that I see when they swing the club is they'll swing the club back. As their downswing begins, their balance will shift out toward their toes. And typically, as the balance moves toward the toes, the body will straighten up. So how should the pressure move through your feet? When I set myself up, my balance is either going to be about 50-50, left foot to right foot, maybe a little bit more on the left is fine, but not a massive amount of difference. Let's say 55-45 is okay, so anywhere between 50-50 and 55-45 is fine. If I also consider my balance heel to toe. When I set myself up, I want my balance to be 50-50 heel to toe. So when I stand like that, if my balance is even on both feet and even heel to toe, I should feel like I'm standing very solidly, very flat-footed, but, but certainly solidly on the ground. Now when the club swings back, I've got more pressure on my right foot, my right leg now, and into the ground on the right side than what I have on the left. But when I have it there, even though there's more pressure here, it's still distributed pretty evenly, toe heel. So as I go back, it doesn't go back into the heel, nor does it go back onto my toe. Now here's the critical point, because this is the breakdown with the vast majority of players. As I begin my downswing, the pressure is shifting toward the left side, but it doesn't shift out toward the toe or shouldn't shift out toward the toe. That's what the majority of people do. It affects swing path, affects ability to control posture, all sorts of things. So when the club moves or when my body moves from the top of the swing to here, my balance or pressure is into my left foot, but it's into the middle of my left foot. So my left foot pressure is still balanced toe to heel about 50-50. This is critical for you being able to maintain your balance and also to swing the club on a correct path as you go back and through. So again, to summarize, if, it's, if my balance is moving forward out onto my toes, then my body will lift up and it's quite likely that my swing path will change so that I swing across to the left, causing a slice or a shot that, is, a shot that curves off to the right or a shot that might go straight left. If my balance goes toward my heels, then my posture will change and again my, uh, my swing path will be affected. Most likely my swing path will go slightly to the right of the target, creating a, a shot that goes straight right or a shot that, that hooks. So practice setting up balance even on both feet. When you get to the top of your swing, balance is 50-50 heel toe on your right. When you're swinging down and through, balance is 50-50 heel toe on your left as you go through. So you'll find that if you do that, you'll have much, much better maintenance of balance. Your feet won't slip around as you're swinging and you'll probably find that your swing path and your posture will both improve.